First, let's take a look at these two photos to feel the difference between them. Both of them are photos of breakfast, but the different ways of shooting will create different effects. In this video, Blue Lake Shot will show you how to use lighting technique to make your breakfast photos look healthier. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on your little bell to get more information on the latest phone photography for free. Let's first analyze these two photos. Which one do you think looks healthier? Maybe you will feel it's the right one. Why do you have such a feeling? The difference between them is mainly due to the mental feelings triggered by the imagery association in the brain. When you think of breakfast, your intuitive reaction is to consider it to be eaten in the morning or in the noon, when it's usually sunny. The photo on the right gives a stronger sense of sunshine with some kind of sunny look, while the photo on the left, although bright overall, looks foggy, more like a normal daytime or afternoon. In contrast, the sunny effect in the photo on the right is more likely to be associated with a healthy diet or lifestyle. Then how do we capture this sense of health? Of course, the most straightforward way is to move the table directly to the balcony or outdoor in order to let the sunlight shine directly and present it completely and authentically. But if you don't want to get up so early and feel very labor-intensive, you can also simulate a sunny look at home. To start with, we take a cardboard box at home. Since the box itself is ugly, we use a simple white cotton cloth to cover the whole box which can also be used as a table. The angle of the cell phone mounted on the stand is close to approximately 45 degrees. Therefore, we put white brick pattern in the background. The light condition today is not very ideal because it's actually raining from what we see outside the window. The overall light is relatively dark. If you shoot when the weather condition or light is not so sufficient, but you still want to capture the sense of sunlight, then you must rely on the existence of artificial light. We place breakfast and drinks on the table in order. Adjust the object on the table according to the position of the phone's viewfinder. In the past, we used softbox for filling light on a large area. We placed it close to the window so that the natural light and artificial light sources could be in the same direction. When we turn on the softbox, we put reflectors on the backlighting area to brighten the area, according to what we saw on the screen. Although the picture became brighter, the general light was relatively even, and the lighting effect was not so obvious, not quite as the same as the sunlight effect we wanted, which had a clear sunlight beam effect. The main reason is that the light from the fading light is diffused evenly by the softbox and then shines on the subject, which makes the light softer and more diffused. First, we turn off the softbox and replace it with the tabletop light for the same scene. Since the light is shining directly on the table, the light is not so softened on the way, as in the case of softbox just now. As you can see from the screen, when switching to the tabletop light, the light and dark effect on the screen became more obvious, and the food looks more three-dimensional through the highlighting of shadows. Since the tabletop light is more of a direct light, the other side without light will be darker in comparison. And there is a difference with the bright sunlight, so we used a softbox to light the side area, thus brighten the whole picture at the same time. Just like what we did, the area near the table and the edge of the plate are far away from the light. So we also use reflectors to enhance partial brightness. Of course, if you still like the original look taken with only the tabletop light, which is more similar to that of the direct sunlight, you can also turn off the softbox and simply use the tabletop light to shoot. After turning off the softbox, the picture is left with only the tabletop light and the light is mainly distributed around the food. If you want to make the scene more romantic, you can also put other decorative items. For example, here we arbitrarily put candles. From the picture, it looks like the surrounding light is dark, as if we are shooting at night. 
but when we turn off the light, it's actually bright outside the window as well. When shooting with different kinds of light, we can see that with the softbox light in the food, the general light effect is relatively flat and even, which gives people the feeling of casualness and softness. If you want to highlight a gentle style of photography, you can use a large area of softbox for lighting. And with the use of tabletop light, the photo will be shot with a more rigid light effect. Shadows will be relatively deeper, and the light and dark effect is strong at the same time. It will also make the sense of three-dimensional more obvious, and the texture of the food itself will be clear. Of course, it will also look sleeker or even sharper. There is no absolute good or bad of either kind of light, which mainly depends on the shooting effect you want. Phone photography at home, have you learned it? If you have any questions about taking pictures or arranging props, please leave us a message and we will make it into a tutorial video to reply. It's not hard to take pictures, just try it.